you mentioned that SBCs, system verification checks, are the responsibility of the CXA. However, in most cases, isn't this the responsibility of the installing contractor to be following the manufacturer recommended startup and pre-functional checklists? This becomes the commissioning provider's job only to verify that these are being done and not pencil whipped, correct? Yeah, I think for the most part, the, you know, the verification checklists do fall onto the contractor's scope of work. They owe you a properly installed and started up piece of equipment. Your checklists are meant to highlight trigger points or sticky points that might get them caught up in making sure that those systems are indeed ready. But how are you to validate and verify that they are indeed ready, right? You can't just take their word for it. You can't just log into CX Alloy or BIM 360 and look at the checklist. You actually have to physically walk them down and you have to walk them down with the contractor and make sure that those checklists are accurate. Um, a lot of times, you know, within your RFP process, you're going to define your level of effort related to construction site observations, construction, construction checklists, uh, walk downs and, and approvals. So you're going to define your level of effort with the contractor as well as with the owner, and you're going to build those milestones into the schedules related to those activities. Uh, a good example would be generators or switch gear. Before they energize that equipment, you want to inspect it before it gets energized. You want to validate that all the needed testing is done, all the torquing is verified and done, all that the conductor uh, lashing and installations meet the requirements of that equipment. And you can only do that by sticking your head in there and, and walking it down with the contractor. Um, so yes, indeed, the contractor owes the checklist, but you owe some level of inspection to validate and verify it is indeed ready.